So a question that a child might ask, um, maybe not directly, but um, even indirectly, it's certainly one that they are uh, thinking about in their life is, what is it that makes me, me? Uh, I know it's a question that I've asked myself. I think it's one that we all ask, uh, we all uh, struggle with throughout our lives even, is um, who am I really? Uh, What is it that um, identifies me? And uh, I think, you know, as as an adult, I have um, turned to things uh, or situations and circumstances and experiences and all those things have uh, impacted that question. I've uh, looked to work, for example, as an adult um, to find my identity. Um, how often do we meet someone for the first time and we say, uh, I am a doctor, I am a, um, a school teacher, I am a, uh, a writer, <laughs> for example. Uh, we introduce ourselves um, and in doing so that you know, kind of has an impact on how we view our, our life. Um, we identify ourselves as this um, job that we do. And certainly, we spend a lot of our time doing that. Uh, but the question is, what happens when we don't have that job anymore? Does that mean that we have no identity anymore? Um, I've also uh, found, found my identity in, in like roles that I've had. Uh, being a mom, that's, you know, that certainly is one where I've put my identity in that. Um, but what happens when my kids leave home, you know, uh, where am I left? Am I floundering because I, I don't have that identity? And so I think, um, as we wrestle with that, imagine what that's like for, for children who are starting to ask those questions for the first time, who might, um, look to the things that they do, you know, certainly they don't have a job, but maybe they, um, are on the soccer team and they're they're a winner you know they uh they excel in in athletes athletics does that mean that's their identity uh what if they are really good in school you know they uh they win all the spelling bees or uh all the math tests uh they score really well on uh that's the thing that they do does that make them who they are um what happens if they don't do well on a test? Um, does that crush then their identity? And so I think that's a really important question um, that while a child may not necessarily ask it out loud, it's certainly one that they're thinking about. And the ways in which that we respond to them as parents can have a huge impact on that identity formation. Um, are we telling them, <laughs> you're, you're an excellent student, why did you not do well on this test? Or uh, you're a little athlete and, and so, you know, you have to uh, always win the race, uh, for example. Um, and I think that what's really important as parents is that we really um, disciple our children in the Word and that we help them see what the Bible says about that. And Genesis 1 is really the best place to start, you know. Um, In Sunday school and and in their children's Bibles that we read to them, they see the story of creation. Uh, We read to them the story of Adam and Eve and and how God created them. Um, And that's where we start. We teach them that God made them. Uh, And so he's he's the one who crafted them and he's the one who gives them their identity and purpose. He's told all of us that we were made to give him honor and glory. And that's that's what we do. Uh, no matter what our our gifts and talents are or the jobs that we have, um, that's really our purpose is to live for God.